In this lesson, we're going to take a look at uh, multiplying a vector by a scalar. And uh, that means a, a scalar is a real number, uh, like uh, 2 or negative 5 or the square root of 7 or 3 quarters. Those are all scalars or real numbers. Now, multiplying a vector by a scalar means taking multiples of the vector. So, for example, if this is vector r, then this is what 1.5r would look like. It's in the same direction as r, but 1.5 times as long. This is what 2r would look like, uh, twice as long as r, and of course the same direction, and that would be 3r. If we multiply the vector r by the scalar 0, we get the 0 vector, which is the only vector that has no specific direction. Negative r would be the same length as r, but of course in the opposite direction, hence the negative 1 here. Negative 2r is uh, twice as long as r and in the opposite direction. And of course, negative 3r would look like this. Now, uh, these vectors that go in the opposite direction, for example, negative 3r, we say that it's three times as long as r and in the opposite direction. You don't say it's negative three times as long. That's not the proper way to say it. In the example on the uh, next page, we're given this uh, vector 75 kilometers per hour at, an, at a direction of north 50 degrees east. So there's the 50 degree angle here. And we're asked to draw the uh, vector that's twice as long. So the vector that's twice as long would look like this. And of course, if the magnitude of this is 75, then the vector twice as long would be double the magnitude, so 150 kilometers per hour. Direction would be the same. Now these two vectors are an example of vectors that are said to be collinear. Collinear means that if they're placed tail to tail, then they lie in the same straight line. And so uh, that's an example of collinear vectors. And I shouldn't really say the word straight line, all lines are straight. Here's some properties of scalar multiplication. Uh, if v is any vector and k is a scalar, a real number, then kv is a vector and kv is the absolute value times as long as v. Uh, this is uh, referring to the same thing I said at the end of the first slide. Uh, negative 3v is three times as long as v and in the opposite direction. Again, you don't see it's negative so many times as long as a vector. If k is greater than zero, then kv has the same direction as v. If k is less than zero, then kv would have the opposite direction to v. And of course, if k is zero, then kv is the zero vector. Uh, these are some algebraic properties of scalar multiplication. The first one is the distributive law. If we have a scalar that we're going to multiply by a vector sum, then the k gets multiplied by u, so that would be ku, plus k times vector v. The associative property says that if you have uh, things multiplied, you can change the order of what's multiplied, and you should get the same quantity. So a, b times, so a and b are scalars. a, b times vector u, multiplying a and b first and then by vector u, is the same as taking the vector u and multiplying by the scalar b and then multiplying by a. That will give you exactly the same quantity. The identity property says that 1u equals u, so the scalar 1 times any vector is the same vector. In the, the next page, we're given uh, this parallelogram and we're told that uh, OF is three times vector B and uh, OE is twice vector A. So two vector A's to make this side, three vector B's to make this side. And we're asked to rate each of the following vectors in terms of A and B. So EF would be this vector right here, one of the diagonals of the parallelogram. And in order to write that as a, uh, as in terms of A and B, I'm gonna use this triangle right here. The vector OE, plus EF would equal the vector OF. Uh, OE and EF are placed uh, head to tail, uh, hence this one ends with, at E, so the head of that vector is E, and the tail of this vector is E because it starts at E. And so the reason I, I wrote that is because I'm writing this vector in terms of A and B, and we can write these two vectors in terms of A and B. Uh, OE, we're told, is twice A plus EF, and of course uh, OF, we're told, is uh, 3 vector b, 3 times vector b. And so I want to isolate or solve for EF, so I'll subtract twice vector a from both sides and get 3b minus 2a. So EF is 3 times vector b minus twice vector a. So that's what it means by to write a vector in terms of two specific vectors. What vector sum or difference adds to or subtracts to that particular vector. For vector OG, it's the other diagonal in the diagram. And so I'm going to use uh, this triangle on the top here, vector OE plus EG 
is equal to vector OG. Again, these are placed head to tails. Those two vectors add to OG. And so OE, we're told, is twice vector A plus, now OF is 3B, so EG would be 3B. Uh, the opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel and the same length, so EG and OF are equal vectors. So I can substitute 3B in there. So OG is twice A plus 3B. Now that example illustrates writing a vector as a linear combination of other vectors. Uh, if we take a look back here, uh, the linear combination of OG, OG is twice A plus 3B. So a linear combination means what specific multiple of these two vectors, or perhaps more than two vectors, uh, adds to that specific vector. So 2A plus 3B is OG, EF was 3B minus 2A. So that's the linear combination of A and B that gives you vector EF. Now, if A and B are two non-collinear vectors in the plane in a flat surface, then any other vector that's parallel to that plane can be written as a linear combination of A and B. So here's an example. Let's say we had this vector right here. And that's vector A, and this is vector B. And so I draw a parallelogram with sides parallel to A and parallel to B. And so this side is the same as this side. This side here, of course, is the same as this side here. So there's my parallelogram. Now, in the parallelogram, this vector plus this vector placed head to tail add to this vector. Now, this vector across the bottom here is some specific multiple of A, depending upon what the vectors are. It looks like it's probably about 1, 2, 3, 4 A, but it's no specific multiple. I'll call it S A. S is whatever multiple that vector is of A. This side here is parallel to vector B, and it looks like uh, it's, a more, it's more than 2B, but maybe less than 3B. So we'll call it TB. T is the multiple. Maybe, maybe T is 2.6. Maybe this is 2.6B. So since the red vector plus the green vector adds to this vector, then this vector is whatever SA is plus whatever TB is. So it's SA plus TB. So, and again, S and T are just scalars, they're real numbers. They're the multiple of A and multiple of B that add to that vector. So that's how you write a vector as a linear combination of two other vectors. One last example we're asked to, we're given these vectors W, X, and Y, and asked to draw W plus 2X minus 3Y. So we'll start with a W. So I make a copy of W. Remember, when you make a copy of it, it has to be parallel and in exactly the same direction and same length. Now, plus 2x, so I want to start drawing my 2x vector here at the head of vector w. And, of course, parallel to x, but twice as long. So there's my 2x vector. And then from here, I want to draw in my, now, minus 3y is same as adding negative 3y. y goes in that direction, so y is up in that direction, so negative 3y would be down in this direction. And, of course, three times as long as y. So the... Um, the vector sum of all this with a vector that starts at w's uh, tail and goes right across to the head of the last negative 3y vector. So that would be the vector w plus 2x minus 3y. And that's the end of the lesson.